hey i am happy to see you again we are going to um read genesis chapter 3 verse 1 all the way to genesis chapter 4 verse 26 and then we look at psalms chapter 2 verse 1 to 6 proverbs 1 5 to 6 and matthew 2 verse 1 to 23 i tell you when i read um yesterday it was so mind-blowing to read about how in the beginning god in the beginning god so just a reminder that we only find ourselves in god and we find our true assignment and our calling in god because in the beginning god you could read some other scriptures like john chapter 1 um, verse 1 to 5 that talks about in the beginning there was the word and the word was with god and the word was god without him nothing was made that was ever made that just reminds us how god was in the beginning and then you could read also colossians chapter 1 15 to 20 very profound scriptures that tell us about how in him all things consist and that he is the eternal godhead it's absolutely amazing i also read hebrews 12 verse 2 uh, alongside with my reading from yesterday <coughs> Hebrews uh, 12 verse 2 that will tell us that keeping our eyes on Jesus the author and finisher of our faith so he will begin and he will finish with you and that's something that you must keep in mind um you know so ah uh, man Revelation 1 verse 8 and they are there and they are saying to him who to him who was and is and is to come and you have to keep your eyes on the lookout for the word of God and what it says about God in the beginning. So I'll move on to what we're reading today. Like I said, January the 2nd, you know, um, I, I, I was looking at, at how the devil fooled people. He says, surely you will not die. And yesterday, um, when, as I read this, um, verse it reminded me of how he probably fooled ananias and sapphira and now we have an advantage that with the full counsel of the scriptures he probably fooled ananias and sapphira and said to them no you won't die if you lie you won't die and they did they died a physical death but we see that with adam and eve it wasn't a physical death but there was a death that occurred so do not be fooled when the devil tells you no don't worry it's harmless you won't die because you definitely will um so i was looking at the seven of chapter three it says that and then they made long clothes for themselves it was the first thing that they were now making for themselves yet god had intended to make stuff for them so do not substitute what god wants to make for you and you make yourself stuff out of uh, leaves and they won't last so they made these things for themselves i was just reminded as well how um when you know adam responds in verse 10 and says i was afraid because i was naked so i hid when you see yourself beginning to hide from the things of god you must know that there's only one thing that separates us from god and that is sin sin causes you to hide from the word causes you not to want to read the word because the word will expose where you are causes you to stay away from other believers because they just seeing them is enough condemnation that you're not doing well even if they don't say a word so sin will definitely separate you from the present of presence of god praying becomes difficult please guard your heart guard your life um don't hide we saw even cain hiding in chapter 4 verse 14 because he's like he, he hides behind being rude remember he's asking god by my brother's keeper <laughs> um uh, well later on we'll see that he's he's, he's asking god and he says um um uh, my punishment is too great for me to bear since you are banishing me today from the soul i must hide myself from your presence can you see he has to hide from god's presence because of the presence of sin in his life while well, god must help us to stay and there's a note that i wrote here in my bible what i like every year did i tell you that every year i get a new bible to read so that i can scribble in it so this one is already marked pd 2023 so that's my scribble study bible um 
Oh yeah, I, and you know, I was just imagining because I'm an extremely dramatic person. I was imagining God speaking to to Adam, and it feels as if they were not in the same space because he was hiding. And I imagine them calling out to each other, Adam, where are you? So when I'm hiding, because I'm not. there was now distance, yet they could walk together and talk in the cool of the day. Please do not allow the enemy to steal that opportunity to speak together with God in the quiet of the day. So look at that verse 16 of chapter 3. Pain is introduced because of sin. You know, whenever there is pain, my God, you know that you must be reminded that pain was as a result of our fallen nature. That fall is what brought pain in our lives. And God, Jesus wants to give us the peace of our, our lives. Listen, I'm not saying that believers won't get sick or challenged or whatever, but um, it is the work of the enemy for us to end up having pain and afflictions in our lives. Praise the Lord. Um, oh, I was so excited to see how there is mercy all over, you know, this whole chapter. Even though God is mad, he continues to show us mercy. Um... It was so amazing that he then says, okay, what you guys have made for yourself won't work. Let me make you, um, you know, clothes out of proper skins that will last longer. And God's mercy is so amazing. The Bible is a book about mercy and you should stay close to it so that you receive mercy. Look at something else that I found uh, yesterday. Uh, well, as I read, it says that the Lord said, Lord God says, since man has become like us, knowing good and evil. Um, I like how, you know, the Bible talks about the law of first mention. It says, knowing good and evil. I am seeing as though initially it had been God's intention for man to only know good. And now evil is, because it's mentioned second, it is added on to man's repertoire. Yet it wasn't God's intention for evil to be part of his... Um, of his life oh may god return us to that place where we enjoy surely goodness and mercy following us all the days of our life um i have had a male child with the lord's help uh, you know what i took the statement literally that for sure man eve had a child with the lord's help there was no midwife she was there by herself who, who could have helped her to deliver except for the lord's help so even as we uh women as you are delivering your child you must remember that it is the lord's help that has come through um oh man i saw something very interesting as well in chapter 4 verse 7 god says to cain if you do right won't you be accepted but if you do not do right sin is crouching at the door it's desire for you is for you, but you must master it. So sin is knocking at your door every single day. Please don't open the door. In 2023, don't open the door when sin calls to, to drop by and pay you a visit. Whatever temptation will come your way, make sure that you don't open the door. Do not entertain sin in your life. God bless you. See you in the next video.